Okay, review problem number 10. We're going to look at a medical application of the law of conservation of momentum. In this application, you're going to measure the amount or mass of blood that's pumped by a person's heart. The machine that does this is called the ballista cardiograph. And the idea is that uh, the patient or the person lies down on a a frictionless pallet, more or less, maybe uh, supported by air, kind of like an air hockey table. And with each heartbeat, there is a recoil, like firing a gun, there's a recoil. Throwing a ball, there's a recoil. There's, there's force in the opposite direction. So same thing when your blood, when your heart pumps blood, it pushes the blood in one direction, and your body recoils in the other direction. Now, that's a very small recoil, so you need to have a very sensitive machine to be able to measure that, uh, that recoil speed. So, the four parameters that are important in this analysis are um, the mass of the person plus the mass of the, the platform, this frictionless pallet that they're lying on, this is the mass of the pumped blood. That's what we're going to try to determine. The speed of the person plus the platform after a heartbeat, that's um, what this sensitive machine is, is measuring. That's a mechanically difficult thing to do, but you, as long as you get that platform as frictionless as possible, you can actually measure this this recoil speed of the person lying on the platform. And we also need to know the speed of the pumped blood. That can be done with an independent measurement, uh, like an ultrasound of the person's heart. And you can um, observe the speed of the blood from that ultrasound. So we're going to determine the mass of pumped blood, and we'll use the law of conservation of momentum to do it. Initially, before a heartbeat, a person is lying stationary uh, on the uh, on the platform. So their initial momentum will be zero. There's no speeds involved. Now, after a heartbeat, you now have the person and the platform moving one direction with speed capital V. Let's just call that the positive direction. Doesn't really matter. And then the blood is moving with speed little v in the opposite direction. So little m is the mass of the blood. And we just have a tiny bit of algebra here to do the mass of that pumped blood um, will equal big V over little v. Um, <clears throat> so mathematically this is pretty simple, but actually building this machine is, is not simple at all, and, and getting these two measurements of the, of the speeds is uh, quite challenging to do, but the physics principle of figuring out how much blood your heart pumps is is pretty simple. So, uh, in a, in an exam kind of problem, uh, I might ask you to explain these uh, concepts involved. Explain the process of uh, of building a machine like this and physics principle conservation momentum that is used.